Hello there and welcome to the new video where I will going to show you this highlighted topic how to create power by power bi ribbon chart so ribbon chart is one of the most useful chart and I will show you in a minute that how it helps you compare the various categories and their respective rankings and this sheet which I am showing you is present within the description you can use it for searching the relevant topic because I will going to document all my topics here itself all right so let's go into the power bi and first of all see what is ribbon chart all right so here we are within the power bi and if you see a ribbon chart is present and if you observe this ribbon chart you will see that uh, there are various categories which are product subcategory is basically starting over here in 2009 and over a period of time so from 2009 to 2010 2011 and 2012 how these categories are moving and then finally in 2012 where they are ending so for example this first category which is office machine is the first category within 2009 and 2010 as the category which has generated the highest sale but in 2011, it, you can clearly see that this category has moved on to the fourth point. So maybe, you know, you may want to look at his, some historical data as to what really has happened here. And then again, in 2012, this category is the first one. However, if you will see this third category, fourth category, which is in 2009, has become the first category in 2011. And this category is tables. So this basically shows you the information. Also, uh, if you will observe this, this bar, which has been highlighted bar over here, over here, it shows the relevant information for the given category and the given year, as well as the sales measure. But if we move on to this ribbon, you will see that along with the uh, previous and current sales, it gives you the information about the ranking. And that's what I mentioned at the start that it gives you the information not only about the values as to how the values are progressing but also about the ranking and as well as down there you will see even the rank changes present so in 2010 table table rank was three but in 2011 the rank one so there is a movement of two ranks so that that label is by default generated by, by the power bi so how we can create this chart let's see this so first of all let me just remove this and down there if or on the right hand side if you will see this option over here is the ribbon chart so once i click over here it won't show us anything over here because we need to create one the settings for the ribbon chart so i've just expanded it and over here the access legend and values these are the three important so access is nothing but the x axis and it is our order date so the the period on which we want the information to be trend uh, this is the hierarchy but what i'll do is i will just have it at the year level and then we have the legend legend is nothing but our product subcategory so product subcategory is present here and i'll add the legend over here and then we have values values we can take either sales or profit based on our interest so what i was going to do is bring the sales information now if you will see we have the uh, the in the the ribbon chart created for with the basic settings but we can even format it so that it looks like the one which i have shown you there so for that we need to come over here on the format and over here we have these options so first of all this legend is not looking really great over here so i'll come on to the legend and i will say is uh, on the right hand side and if you will see on the right hand side the uh, information about the product subcategory is coming but this is very small our, our eye will have to do a lot of work if i have to you know see this so what i'll do is increase the text size and make it 10. now this this information is properly visible along with this so up to us whether we want on the right side or on the left side down at the end we have a lot of options over here also apart from this legend formatting if i select any legend for example let's say this one it will highlight the portion where the particular legend is present within the chart so just an additional information i wanted to give uh, that is related to the selection from the legends 
now we have this uh, we have these data labels which are off so what i'll do is i will enable it and if you will see the legend are now properly placed at the relevant positions we have the option of choosing the color the display unit right now it is in million but let's say we want to change it into a thousand so it's clearly uh, three ninety one thousand or four forty six thousand dollars in sales and then how is the or orientation it is horizontal but we have the option of vertical but vertical i believe won't look really good um the position inside and inside center you can play around with this i will just leave it with the auto option and if i want to increase the text size over here then you will see that in this case this this particular one is going out of the range that's why it's becoming hidden if i just increase one more so you need to see in your scenario how much you want to increase so that it is properly visible for the end user and then you have the label density column which basically shows uh, how much density you need uh, when labels are being displayed you want to show the background or you don't want to show the background i suggest don't show the background and already if you will see if if we have so many categories the chart is becoming a little bit busy and showing the background unnecessarily adds one more element which we don't want from a good visualization perspective that very less clutter and lot of information all right uh, customize the series if you want to individually look at each series their respective color their respective text size so this is this is a very big exercise and very much related to how you want uh, to customize your series because if, if you see all of these legends are present here you can select those and down there you can change each of the information about uh, about each each series point which is nothing but your product subcategory so but apart from this you have this ribbons area as well so in ribbons which is very specific to the ribbon chart uh, you have this spacing so how much if you see a little bit of spacing is coming over here so how much we want i think two looks really good but then when once you will increase more it will start giving you a little bit odd result however if categories are less you will start to get much more meaningful uh, output out of this but uh, i'll just keep it to i'll say match series color what happen if you don't do this is the kind of output if it is not enabled uh, how much transparency we want so if we just increase the transparency or i will just change it uh, i'll just try to change it directly from here to 50 you will see that this transparency is going down if i change it to something 20 you will see that it is becoming very much similar to these bars so how much transparency you want and then finally whether you want the borders or not so this is something if you will see a little bit of changes is coming so that's more about the customization that we want to do but uh, this is about uh, very quickly as to how you can create and format down there you will see you have a lot of customization information about the title background lock expect border shadow tooltip visual header which i leave it because very specific to our own choices however if you have any question about any specific scenario then let me know into the comments and uh, i will answer you so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next topic